Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 23, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our uh, full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and we have gone back and forwards a little bit. It's not been a lot of movement. We are down zero, minus 0.21% 0 at this point. Um, the 20 exponential is still the floor at this market. We crossed it yesterday, rallied again, but uh, seriously, every single time we get close to the 20 exponential, that is basically where you should enter this market for a buy. There's no reason to sell this at this point. Uh, we're not going to see this total collapse. Um, there is help on the way for the United States um, uh, economy. Um, so the Fed will step in, step in uh, the government will step in. They will not allow this, mar basically the economy or the markets to uh, go basically well like this. Um, so... Pulling uh, pullbacks are basically buying opportunities similar to this. Every single time we get close to the 20 exponential, that is a buying opportunity with a stop loss right underneath. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that they are still looking fairly bearish at this point. The MACD is bearish, the CCI is bearish, RSI is bearish, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is bearish, and we are just at the edge of the 20 uh, moving average. So. I think that we're just going to see more of the same. I don't think there's going to be that much action tomorrow due to the holidays coming up. So we may just see more of the same. But what I think is going to happen here is that we're going to pull back a little bit and then head towards these previous highs. And our target is at this point 3,800 to 4,000. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Very similar here, we have broken down uh, quite a bit, but we are in a very tight range. So we have the previous, the highs here of roughly 30,400 and then the very lows here of 29,850. So we're right above the 20 exponential moving average. These technical indicators are looking, uh, they're bearish, but there's just not a lot of movement. Just see the Bollinger Band, the difference between this and this. There is just not that much volatility in this market at this point. So I favor the upside. I don't think that we're going to see uh, something similar to this where we break down completely. There's a lot of support underneath here. So I think we're just going to see more of the same. Get close to the 20 exponential, probably break down a little bit below that. And then you can start buying pieces to the upside. So target here is uh, 30,500 uh, 30, or 31,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. There has been a little bit more movement in the NASDAQ. We, um, we broke down quite aggressively at, the, at one point and then rallied significantly again. So Apple was basically keeping this market up, you can almost say. So uh, we'll get to Apple in a moment, but Apple had a very... Uh, well, ended up 2.85%, but it was up nearly 4% at one point um, due to its announcement that they, they are going to make cars now. So at this point, every pullback towards the 20 exponential is basically a buying opportunity. Uh, we The 20 exponential has been very supportive for a very long time now. So that is basically where you should enter Target at this point is 13,000 to 15,000 in the long run. Technical indicators for, for NASDAQ, well, we may see more of the same, pull back towards the 20, and that would be a good thing because the RSI is still fairly high. It is difficult to um, get this to rally several hundred points when we are on the edge of being overbought. So if you could get the RSI down towards 50 or something like that, then that will be uh, a sign that we're ready to go significantly higher. Stochastic is also turning around, the MACD is turning around, and uh, CCI is flat. So we may see more of the same. I'm just going to stick um, 
wait and see what's going to happen. Pullbacks towards the 20 would be the best. That's roughly 2% from here. And that would give us enough momentum to the, basically the upside. That will also be roughly 600, uh, roughly uh, 530 points towards our goal. So let's look at Apple stocks. So Apple gapped up and rallied all the way up towards these highs at 134. That's almost the uh, previous or all time highs here, but we're a little bit off. At this point, I think that we're going to see a pullback. We're just going to probably going to see a little bit of choppiness around here and then a pullback towards the 20 exponential, which also has been very uh, supported for for some time now. Technical indicators are mixed. Uh, we're on the edge of being overbought. Uh, MACD is very bullish. The same is for the CCI. The stochastic is about to cross the signal line. But if you look at the Bollinger Band, this is the reason why we had this pullback. It is significantly overstretched. We are most likely going to see a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is the uh, 20 moving average, and that's a fall of roughly 5.3%. That's not going to happen in one day. That is something that's going to happen gradually over the next few days. Something similar to this. And then we'll just uh, bounce to the upside. So pullbacks towards the 20. That's a buying opportunity. So let's look at Amazon. Absolutely nothing happened here. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if we basically fell towards these previous lows. If the 50 moving average breaks, which still is uh, supported, and then that opens the door towards a 3080 and give or take or roughly the, the 150 moving average if you look at the stochastic it is turning around um, the 20 moving average is holding at this point but we could turn around towards the downside there's just hasn't been a lot of movement to the upside in the amazon stock uh, recently we haven't seen major rallies and so on as we saw only a few um, weeks ago so at this point um, I I will just gonna see what basically happens if we break below here then I will be buying these very lows if we rally above these previous highs here that's an indication that we are going to go higher so let's look at Microsoft Microsoft rallied pull back a little bit we're still rallying frankly but we are running into these previous uh, resistance here um, we have tested this area twice or three times before, and uh, we need to get through this. But at this point, I don't think that we're going to. We're at uh, 68 in the RSI. We are two points of being basically overbought. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is um, most likely what is going to happen here. But that is also going to be a gradual grind towards the 20 exponential. You can see the Bollinger Band. We are way overstretched. And the last time we were this overstretched, we basically fell a lot. So we fell roughly, or is it? Roughly 2.2% when we were this overstretched. So keep that in mind. It's not a good idea to buy it here. Pullbacks are basically what you should be buying into. So let's look at Facebook. So Facebook has been absolutely hammered recently. But I think we found the floor here. And we have been here several times. Here, here, and so on. This is an area where which has been very uh, supportive in the past, and uh, therefore I also bought into this. Uh, actually, bought into it uh, above here, but I think that it's going to turn around. And what we're going to target are these previous highs. So 291 is basically the target at this point. I think that we have reached the bottom. We are significantly oversold. Does, um, the technical indicators are still bearish, but we have crossed uh, the uh, lower part of the Bollinger Band, and usually we pull back at least towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average, which is at roughly, at this point, 277. At this point, I'm definitely going to buy more of this if this starts to turn around. So let's look at Tesla. So this is the stock that I did buy today. And the reason for that is because of the 20 exponential. It has been very supported for a very long time. Um, Tesla has fallen roughly 11.6% in only three trading days. 
and uh, we may see this fall again towards the 20 but usually when we uh, get close to the 20 exponential it rallies it is no longer over but but these technical indicators are turning around so it'll be interesting to see how much they turn around we did also turn around here and then uh, rally again so this is a very very bullish stock and people tend to buy into this in mass when it gets close to the 20 exponential and that's also what i did today target is basically these previous highs here and probably beyond that so let's look at google so google has also found uh, support here at the 50 moving average and uh, at this point i'm all in we are significantly oversold at this point we just need uh, this uh, stochastic to turn around and also the cci and and then it will basically go towards at least the 20 exponential which is roughly um uh, well at uh, 1781 so but target here is the previous highs and that is roughly 7.2 percent from uh, in in profit definitely a buyer here however if it breaks the 50 that opens the door to the 100 but i do not think that is going to happen at this point so let's look at netflix so yesterday i said that i was expecting netflix to fall even further well it did it fell but it pulled back so there is still buyers at this area here uh, but i think that that was buying too soon i would not buy until we get to the 20 exponential and definitely the 50 moving average so roughly uh, 25 dollars from here i will step in to buy this so the 20 has not 20 exponential has not been significantly supportive the 50 has and definitely the 150 has if we get all the way down to this level then i will basically be pouring my uh, my money into this basically stock if you look at this uh, technical indicators they are turning around so we're not out of the woods yet um, this is most likely going to fall further before it goes higher so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much